Today in John Wesley's Journal is a podcast produced by the Wesley Center at Chattanooga, the United Methodist Student Center. In this podcast, we will learn about early Methodism by following John Wesley through his journal as he and others begin a movement that would give rise to the Methodist Church in all its forms. So sit back and let's see what happened today in John Wesley's journal. Welcome back to Today in John Wesley's Journal for November 23rd, 1735. But before we get to John Wesley's Journal, here are some other things that happened on this day in Christian history. Today is the Saint Day of Saint Columbanus. He was an Irish monk who tirelessly worked to spread the gospel throughout Western Europe. He died on this day in 615. On this day in 1654, Blaise Pascal comes to faith in Christ, recording the moment with these words, Fire, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, not the philosophers and intellectuals. Certitude, certitude, joy, peace, the God of Jesus Christ. On this day, John Browning died in 1872. He is remembered for the hymn, In the Cross of Christ I Glory. Here are the first two verses of that hymn. In the cross of Christ I glory, towering o'er the wreck of time, all the light of sacred story gathers round its head sublime. When the woes of life o'ertake me, hopes deceive and fears annoy, never shall the cross forsake me, lo, it glows with peace and joy. On this day in 1938, Jeremiah Mahalu Kinswala begins his ordained ministry. He will eventually become the first bishop of the Africa Inland Church of Tanzania. And yesterday, November 22nd, also saw some memorable events. On November 22, 1633, the Ark and the Dove set sail for Maryland, carrying English Roman Catholics seeking religious freedom and refuge from Protestant persecution. In 1873, a man by the name of Horatio Spafford loses his four daughters in an accident at sea. In his grief, he writes the famous hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. Here is the first stanza of that hymn. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. And on November 22nd, 1963, we remember the death of C.S. Lewis, the Christian writer and scholar who left us books like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe to keep us company. He was friends with J.R.R. Tolkien, and together along with Owen Barfield, they formed the core of a group they called the Inklings, who met regularly to discuss issues of faith, writing, and literature. During World War II, Lewis famously delivered a series of talks over the BBC. These would become the book Mere Christianity. Here's a quote from that book. It's pretty long, so get comfortable. Or take a boy learning to swim. His reason knows perfectly well that an unsupported human body will not necessarily sink in water. He has seen dozens of people float and swim, but the whole question is whether he will be able to go on believing when the instructor takes away his hand and leaves him unsupported in the water, or whether he will suddenly cease to believe it and get in a fright and go down. Now just the same thing happens about Christianity. I'm not asking anyone to accept Christianity if his best reasoning tells him that the weight of the evidence is against it, that is not the point at which faith comes in. But supposing a man's reason once decides that the weight of the evidence for it, I can tell that man is going to happen to him in the next few weeks. There will come a moment when there is bad news, or he is in trouble, or is living among a lot of other people who do not believe it. And all at once, his emotions will rise up and carry out a sort of blitz on his belief. Or else there will come a moment when he wants a woman or wants to tell a lie or feels very pleased with himself or sees a chance of making a little money in some way that is not perfectly fair. Some moment, in fact, at which it would be very convenient if Christianity were not true. And once again, his wishes and desires will carry out a blitz. I'm not talking of moments at which any real new reasons against Christianity turn up. Those have to be faced, and that is a different matter. I am talking about moments when a mere mood rises up against it. And now John Wesley's journal for today, November 23rd, 1735. At night, 
I was waked by the tossing of the ship and roaring of the wind and plainly showed I was unfit for I was unwilling to die. And now we return to our time, but we will be back on December 2nd for another entry in John Wesley's journal. Have a good day.